Wi-Fi connected. There we go. Very straightforward. Worked the very first time. It truthfully feels like it's been forever since I did a video on a camera. But today I have a new camera. This is the new security camera that uses the Victo Home app, V-I-C-O Home. And this camera seems to have a ton of features. As we always do, we're gonna get on the overhead rig and unbox our slightly messed up box camera that was sent to us thanks to the fine folks at this company who wanted me to make a video for them. So we're gonna get on the overhead rig, unbox it, go through the setup process, and I'll actually show you some of the features of this camera in action. So click like, click subscribe, and indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And now let's check out this new security camera. All right, so smart battery security camera. This is the model CG3A. Right here on the front is, is the app for the App Store and Android. There's AI inside, 100% wire-free, smart AI recognition, 1080p HD video, two-way audio, IP65 weatherproof, and then the top just has some of the same information. Nothing on the bottom the side has some has the packing list uh, as well as the field of view 100, 110 degree field of view 1920 by 1080 which is full HD adaptive video bit rate uh, does have micro SD card storage up to 128 gigs and the battery capacity is 5200 milliamp hours the adapter is a 5 volt 1.5 amp charger and the size as well oh this side has a lot so wireless networking true wireless 1080p image quality activity zone infrared night vision battery powered waterproof and dustproof two-way audio pir detection phone monitoring ai recognition and seven day free cloud storage that's always nice advanced features ai powered events detection so you got person detection package detection and activity zones and then here's your app information again as well. Now this is the uh, name of the company here, the S-M-M-V-I-N-N-R. I'll pop it up here on the screen as well. And it does say that some AI services require additional fees. So you may get person, but like package might be extra, or maybe both of those are extra and you only get the activity zones where you can only monitor one section of that whole image. So this is how it came to me straight from them, from Amazon. Let's open it up. Oh. So a micro USB cable for charging. The uh, mount for mounting the camera. Mounting screws. The uh, camera. There's the instructions. And that's it for the box. So we have a nice little instruction manual here, which we shouldn't really need. This is the actual camera though. Wow, very nice. Like huge lenses it looks like. And so it looks like we got a couple of uh, things blocked down here. So yes, that's the power button. There's your charging location and looks, and even a micro SD card slot. Now um, I, don't currently have a use for this camera, but I wanna to try to use all the cameras that I have and considering this uses a micro SD slot to charge. So let's, you know, this part's pretty straightforward. You got your four holes here. You would screw these onto something wherever you want it. And then this literally just screws right on like so, boom. Now your camera is basically ready to go. Now I do want to uh, get this thing charging for a moment. So I'm gonna undo our charging cable, see how long it is, and then we'll grab the app and start the setup. Not very long, literally like two or three feet here. All right, so now the camera is plugged in. That yellow light is indicating that it is charging and we are going to get my phone and get this app. So bring the box back into play here and bam. So it took me right to the Play Store. We're going to install this app. We'll have to make us an account once the app installs, and then we'll come back for the setup process. Yeah, I agree. Camera management, live stream, intelligent. All right, sign up for a new account. All right, I'm gonna do this, and then I'll come back. All right, so now that I have created my account, the first thing it says is uh, please add a camera. So we're gonna click add a camera and since we have a battery powered camera we'll long press the button on the bottom until the camera emits a tip sound 
So that would be this one here. Fly Mississippi, go Mississippi. That must be, that must be the sound we were looking for. I heard the sound or saw the light. All right, now it's searching for activated cameras. So it should be able to find this camera. Confirm whether the camera is emitting a beeping sound. I heard a beeping sound. That's the sound. Now it's gonna get my Wi-Fi information and put it to the camera. So yes, that one and... and now I have a QR code. It scans the QR code. Wi-Fi connected. There we go. Very straightforward. Worked the very first time. I didn't even have to turn off my mobile data. I will say that can work a lot of times. If you run into an issue, try to turn off your mobile data and only be on Wi-Fi and then try to add the camera. We're gonna call it, I'm gonna give the name Side House Camera. All right, so they do have a, uh, you can get extra cloud recording storage, which these are things that I, I personally don't want. And so here is our actual camera. Let me turn this down. Side House Camera, so it's connecting now. And there it is. Hello. So if you click on this little icon up here, this is like your settings. We're at 50%, status online, very nice uh, settings. Activity zones, notifications, SD card management, audio settings. Very, very nice laid out app in my opinion. I use a lot of these and uh, you know, sometimes it's just not the best. So pretty nice picture, I must say, at least from what I can see. Let's turn this up real quick. Hello. There it is. So, uh, I'm gonna record a clip and pop that clip in right here for you. This is an audio video test on the camera. Pretty good. So that was an actual audio video test directly from the camera. Now, uh, you do also have that button for your events and that will share the camera with somebody. Motion detection settings your notification settings, and you can put the SD card in there up to 128 gigs. So, I mean, I think from what I'm seeing, this is a pretty good camera. Now let's do a speaker test on the camera. This is a speaker test on the camera. This is a speaker test on the camera. So there we go. That was a little test and setup video for this camera. Now, I didn't come across any issues with the setup. The speaker on it seemed to be really good, and the fact that it'll hold 128 gigabytes of an SD card is a good bit of storage for recording. So I think that these are definitely a viable camera for the price and for the fact that they're 100% wire-free. Charge up this battery, have your SD card in there, and just set this thing and forget it until, well, the app tells you that you need to charge it again. So I'll, of course, have one of these linked down below in the description if you'd like to grab one for yourself. And I think that will do it for today's video. Click that like button, click subscribe, and indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.